Hey everybody. So it's a beautiful day out in Michigan here. It is 60 and the sun is shining and um, I'm, I'm absorbing as much sun as possible. So today I'm going to be making chicken livers on the grill and then we're gonna um, add it to some eggs in some muffin pans. So I will get you that recipe in this video, of course. And first of all, I'm gonna start my grill and I'm gonna put the chicken livers on the grill and roast them, grill them up. Last time I tried to cook chicken livers on the grill, I did not put tin foil down and they got stuck on the grates. So this time I'm gonna use aluminum foil. You can use whatever you want. This is what I have. Alrighty, so I'm gonna crank up my grill here. You've probably seen my grill before in some of my other videos, but I just love it. This is the side with the propane. And then that side we can do wood burning. And then we've got a smoker right here. Uh, I think I posted a video for, if I didn't, I'll insert the video or a picture at least of the brisket that my partner made for me for my birthday last weekend. So. Um, at any rate, we're gonna turn on this, get the heat going. All right, so these are my chicken livers. I just got them from the grocery store. They're froze. They come frozen. Uh, and by the way, my dogs love them. So I'm just going to take them out and throw them on the grill. Cook them up. You know, when I was a kid, my mom used to make chicken livers for us, which is so funny because if you were going to give her a chicken liver today, there's no way she would eat it. <laughs> Maybe she would. I don't know, mom, if you're watching this video, comment below if you're going to eat a chicken liver. All right, throw those on there. And then I'll just give the blood to my dogs because of course they love that. And um, the problem with the, the liver when it cooks, it just becomes so crumbly that um, you can't, it, when you scrape it, you end up breaking it, you know, and you lose a lot of the, the meat. I'm trying not to stick my whole fingers in, but whatever, right? Okay, so let's spread those out. Got one more or two more in here. <laughs> I'm doing a video. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Come on, see a bikini and meat being cooked. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, it's livers, but yes. Okay, so we're going to let this cook up. I'm going to give my dogs the blood. All right, here, doggies. There you go. Ooh. Yummy, here, here. Nebula, here. Here you go. Well, there's two bowls. So we poured the blood in there. Yummy. What What do you think? Is it good? Yes. How about you? Five star review. Okay, I wanted yeah. to show you guys this. Boom. This is goat's milk. It's raw goat's milk from a local farm. Not even a farm. It's a girl who has two goats and she sells this. So this half gallon is $10 and I've gotten four half gallons now in the last two weeks and we just love it. It's so good. Normally I don't drink milk, but um, I'll warm this up in the milk frother and add it to my coffee in the morning and I'll just drink it. It's delicious. And I can't really tell the difference between cow's milk and goat's milk other than it doesn't exacerbate my rosacea or cause me to have any digestive problems. I also have been incorporating kefir, which is cow's milk, but if you don't know, it is fermented cow's milk. So um, it's got cultures in it, active cultures for healthy gut microbiome. Um, and I get this at the local grocery store. I've been able to find plain whole fat, whole milk. And the only one I can find at the other grocery store, Aldi, that I talk about all the time is low fat milk. And no, we want the fat. And these last a long time too. Um, the expiration date where I, I, I see if I can find it real quick. Here it is. Best to fuse by 12, seven. So I bought three of them. Of course, we've got our farm fresh, uh, free range chicken eggs pan that we're going to be using. I can't remember what the recipe calls for. I have to look it up again, but if we need more, I've got another one. Oh no, it's a, uh, never mind. That's for the, um, 
bagel. Oh, that's all right. We'll make it work, right? Okay. So we're gonna get this ready. Waiting on the chicken livers. Let's go check those. See how they're doing. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. hey, hey. <laughs> all right, let's check the chicken livers. Hey, all right, we're getting there. Um, don't know how to move them without breaking. Yeah, okay. So they're really delicate. So when you're cooking them, uh, I don't know how to describe it. They kind of, they're not like a regular muscle meat. They get real, hmm, I don't know how, to, maybe you guys can help me think of a good adjective to describe what these, the texture of these. Kind of puffy and they fall apart in your mouth when you're chewing them. So I'm just gonna flip them over so they get good heat. This side of the uh, grill is a little cooler than that side evidently. We well, don't have that burner on either so that's probably why. Let me move this over here. I'm gonna move that one over there. And we're going to move this one over there. You can hear the cicadas still in the trees. Up here in Michigan, we have, oh gosh, which one is it now? The variety of cicada up here. Uh, dog, dog Days Cicada, I believe it is. I'll have to look that one up again. It's my favorite sound. And then the um, Katie Dids are one of my favorite bug sounds, nature sounds for summer. All right, let's let that keep cooking. This is the recipe that I'm using. I got it from carnivore.diet, carnivore breakfast biscuits. It's cupcake pan, a dozen eggs, enough chicken livers to place one in each cupcake and half a stick of butter. And then so first, it says share, but I think that's a typo. <laughs> cook your chicken livers on a grill or a skillet and then cook out all the moisture thoroughly. Crispy to the batter, set aside, grease each cup cupcake round with butter and then um, the meat. Oh, cured, maybe cured. Add your eggs by after you blend them in a bowl, then pour your cupcake rounds. Mm, cured meat. Oh, so you can add some salami. Interesting, okay. I didn't read that part. And bake. All right, so we're gonna do that. So that's what they should look like. So that's my baby boy. I'll just put a picture in there of us. But yeah, now it's 74 out, so it's actually getting a lot warmer out. But so there's my grill in the background there, cooking the livers. So we're just waiting. There it goes, my baby. All right, I'm gonna shred some cheese. I don't, I have sharp cheddar. It says shredded raw cheddar. <laughs> raw? This book is weird. Okay, so, all right, I'm gonna Got the cool cone shaped shredder. Makes it a little bit easier. Doesn't quite fit in this pan that I have though. It's square. Okay, don't want to burn them, burn them. Let's turn that off. Very good, very good. Okay, I got my pan here. Did you know that aluminum doesn't conduct heat? Look, maybe you do, maybe you don't. They are done. So I'm gonna have to put down my phone to do this, but I'm gonna put that there. Okay, 
have them turn on the oven. No, I don't want to do that. It's, it's the whole house time, right? But whatever. 350 reheat. I got a couple pans here. I just keep my pans in the oven when I'm not using them. Now it's actually clean. Let me know. Okay, so there's that. Let me look at the recipe. Grease each cupcake with the butter. Salami, but I got pepperoni. Probably just enough to line the bottom of each pan or each cup in the pan. So we'll do that. Did I do that one? I did. Oh, I was one short. There's a little half piece over here. Okay. So that's that. Shoya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, now we're gonna do the eggs. Dozen eggs in my mixing bowl. until they're three quarters full. I still have to put the chicken livers in there too. I hope we get the cheese and not settling down to the bottom. There we go. There's a little pork to help the uh, cheese get out too. Chicken liver in each 
one. Oven. So that's what it looks like before we cook it. Go in the oven. 30 minutes. Set a timer for 30. Start. There. <laughs> All right, we'll be back. While that's cooking, I wanted to tell you guys about my tea. I had broken them a few weeks ago and I am getting them fixed at the end of the month. So yay. Um, I just had to come up with the money to uh, put half half down and the rest of it, I could there let me make payments. So um, my wonderful brothers lent me the money so I could put the money down, but I've been working really hard. I've been taking a lot of extra jobs. I do doggy daycare. You've probably seen some of the dogs in some of my other videos. And I have a full-time job and I've been doing laundry. So uh, anything I do to kind of get ahead a little bit, fix these teeth. As it is when I talk, I feel like I'm lisping a lot, but um, thank God they weren't broken worse. And uh, I didn't have any other damage like breaking your collarbone or your hand or your wrist or your elbow. Like I heard a lot of other people have done when they've taken a similar tumble like I did. So I um, just wanted to give you guys an update about that as well. All right, I'll be back with the food in a minute. Hey friends, it says five minutes, but i pretty sure it's done. Off. Cancel. How do you get back? Oh, that one. Okay. <laughs> She's gonna figure out my stove oven timer thing. Okay, let's show ya. Oh my god, look at that. Dude, look at all the butter, like, just coming up the top. It looks so good. The butter's, like, dripping off the sides. Ah! I'll drip it on here. Mmm. Okay. I'll definitely let that cool off. I'm gonna do a taste test. Now we're gonna taste test. I'm so close. <laughs> Got one out of the pan. It did stick quite a bit, so I don't think the butter was keeping it from sticking for sure. Mmm, my chocolate piece. Good. I need salt. But otherwise it was good. I suppose you could do it with just your fingers too because it's kind of like a muffin, but not really. One thing I hate about carnivore recipes is they try to make it something sound like something that it isn't. It's not a muffin. <laughs> not bad. Not my favorite. I don't really like liver that much. Sorry. 
it's not bad. I don't, liver is not one of my favorites. Um, but if you guys are looking to incorporate more liver into your diet, this might be a good way to do it. So I'm going to keep um, putting them out, scraping them out, and putting them in my storage bin. Um, you may want to maybe take them out while they're still hot. Maybe that'll keep them from sticking too much with the butter was um, boiling before. Um, that might be a good way to keep them from sticking. So um, let me know. Let me know if you try it, if you like it. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.